hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Yutogu, and if this is your first time of watching any of my videos don't forget to hit the subscribe button below i'm a legons based youtuber i make videos about lifestyle travel and freelancing so these are the kind of content that you like to see don't forget to hit the subscribe button below i've not made a freelancing video in a while i've been trying out you know various content just to see what works on this channel but in today's video i'm going to make a freelancing video just for beginners in case you don't know what freelancing is about just grab a cup of coffee or water or whatever thing it is that you drink that gives you joy grab it take a sip and take a sip sorry and listen to me while i answer some of the most googled freelancing questions okay and you know why i'm the best person to answer these questions because i'm a top return seller <laughs> i'm a top return freelancer on upwork and i am a fiber like to seller okay now let's get started <coughs> lagos is noisy but it's okay anyway um, i have like a list of questions so if you see me looking down to answer some of the questions is that i'm looking at like some of the most good questions and i'm going to try to answer them as honest as i'm just going to try to be very honest in answering some of these questions the first one is what is freelancing and who is a freelancer um a freelancer is someone that is not tied to an organization you don't have like a full-time um, employment with an organization you work on contract and you don't work long term with an organization that's like a layman's a lay person sorry that's a lay person's explanation of freelancing and that's what it is you're not tied to an organization you work on contract days on contract basis and all that you don't have like a full employment contract with a particular organization to work long term the second question is what do freelancers do they do a whole lot of stuff they offer a whole lot of services ranging from what the freelancer does um, ranging from writing and um, web development voiceover graphics design accounting or bookkeeping um editing they're just a bunch of stuff a bunch of skills that freelancers offer on these freelancing platforms okay freelancers offer on these freelancing platforms the third one is how do i get started freelancing first of all you need to discover what works for you you need to discover what you like personally i have mentioned here so many times that i enjoy writing so i sell my writing skills on the freelancing platforms i write um, fiction and non-fiction ebooks uh, for fiction, I do contemporary romance writing. For non-fiction, I do... For non-fiction, I do um, mostly self-help. Basically, mostly self-help books. Um, for non-fiction, I also do content and web content writing and copywriting. So, um, to... To get started as a freelancer, you need to know the skill that you want to offer. You need to have a skill, first of all. Understand the skill that you have to offer. If you need to um, hone the skills, you can take courses, um... Um, do some projects before you get started and you can join the freelancing um, platforms or websites. So, yeah. Next question is, is freelancing difficult? <laughs> I don't know, honestly. And I'm supposed to know, but I don't know. Maybe because I do things that I can do. I don't really take projects that I cannot do. For instance, let's say romance ghostwriting. I said I ghostwrite romance fiction. I know that I'm good at that. I'm good at contemporary romance fiction. So I'm not going if I take paranormal romance or science or sci-fi, it's going to be difficult for me because I'm not really good at that. Okay. I'm really good at writing contemporary romance. So I focus on that. So I don't really think it's difficult when you're doing something that you you like. <laughs> when you're doing something that you like or something that you can do, okay. I don't really think that it's going to be that difficult when you're doing something that you can do or something that you like that's what i feel i'm not saying that this goes for everybody i'm just saying personally i don't think it's going to be that difficult when you're doing something that you enjoy okay next question is can i learn freelancing for free definitely you can learn the skills there's nothing like learning freelancing for free you can learn the skills that you need to offer on the freelancing platforms for free there are a whole lot of courses that you can take depending on the skills and or the services that you want to offer on the freelancing platform if you want to learn copywriting, there are courses on copywriting on Coursera, on Udemy, on Skillshare, on a bunch of them. If you want to learn um, how to write ebooks, there are courses like that. There, but if you want to understand freelancing generally, 
I do a one-on-one -on -one coaching section, okay? So you can hit me up on instagram let's talk about it but can you learn freelancing for free you can learn the skills that you need to offer on the freelancing platforms for free there are a whole lot of online resources available to you for you to use so make sure that you take advantage of them the next one is um can i learn freelancing online yes 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 you can actually learn freelancing online there are a whole lot of online resources like i said earlier that can help you um, in your, your freelancing career and all that. So definitely, you can learn freelancing online. If you want to go into web content writing and you want to understand SEO or social media management or whatever, I would recommend the Google Dig Digital um, Skills um, Certificate for you if you want to learn um, copywriting their, their courses. Like, there are courses for everything that can help you, like, accelerate your career. Your freelancing career and just want the skills that you want to offer on the freelancing platform so definitely look out for them the next question is how do freelancers find jobs freelancers find jobs on a on a in a lot of ways okay freelancers find jobs in a lot of ways job sites they find jobs on linkedin yeah on linkedin because some some projects just need freelancers just want you to work on a particular project for a particular time so they find jobs on linkedin they find jobs on job sites they find jobs by code emailing if you don't know what code emailing is it means like so you have an organization that you want to work with or you have a person that you maybe want to work with gift to a group and you don't really know how to reach out to me so you find my email address which is on my youtube bio and then you send me uh, which is on my youtube yeah my youtube bio yeah and you send me an email introducing yourself you're like um hi my name is susan so thing i came across your youtube channel and i want to work with you um i am so so and so thing i have a so and so skill i know that you're looking for so 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 and so to fill this uh, position on short term basis and i'm available for the job and um, do you understand so that's why it means to code email you can code email companies or code email individuals and all that it depends so freelancers find jobs via coding and um, um, by code emailing companies and individuals they find jobs by um job and um, by applying to jobs available on linkedin or on, um, job platforms they also get jobs off recommendation get a project off recommendation they get recommended for a job somebody's like oh i need a writer and another person uh, another person is like oh i know gifts Gift is a writer, so maybe I think she can do the job. I hope you guys understand what I'm talking about. So they also get jobs on the freelancing website. Freelancing websites, um, Upwork, Fiverr, um, Guru, um, People Per Hour, Freelancer. There are a bunch of them, so they get jobs. I have like a whole post on my Instagram regarding the freelancing website. So if you're not following me on Instagram yet, you are missing a lot. You're missing a lot, honestly. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. In fact, wait. This is my Instagram. This is my Instagram handle. It's here. I'm going to put it here or here. I think it's usually here. I don't know. It's usually somewhere here or here. So please just go take a minute or 30 seconds and go and follow me on Instagram right now because I create a lot of insightful freelancing posts which will help you. Some of them I don't bring to YouTube. So you want to really get the information on, you want to get information on all the platforms that I'm active on. So you want to follow me on Instagram and on youtube to get like insightful information okay yeah the next question the next question is how do freelancers get paid um freelancers get paid via direct bank transfers that if i'm working with a nigeria it's usually easier if i'm working with a nigerian so i give you my account number you pay me first of all half of the job upfront okay so i give you my account number you wire my money to me you send me my my money so if I'm working with an European, with an European client, they pay me via transfer wise. If the client is American, you pay me via Peonia or you pay me via um, Western Union. On the freelancing platforms, I get paid, I get my money in my bank account using Peonia. Freelancers get paid with a via a lot of ways. PayPal, if you work in your country, Peonia, um, send wave people. Um, sorry, if send wave. Um, direct transfer transfer wise whichever platform works so you get paid it depends on the one that works for you and, the, and for the client that is sending the money when i work on freelancing platforms i get paid um i send my money to peonia and then i send it to my nigerian bank account or i 
like use the money for Kenya, if you get what I'm talking about. So there are a lot of ways to get your money as a freelancer, a lot of ways. Um the next one is how much can a beginner freelancer earn? I don't know if this question is asking per month, per hour, per day, per week or something like that. I don't really know. But I know that when I started freelancing, my first job was to write a five hundred word um, PR PR or something. It was a PR article for a magazine. So it was this um What's the name of the magazine? I think it was this um, human hair store in the United States. So they had a magazine feature and they wanted to, yeah, they had a magazine feature and they wanted to, um, they wanted a PR article or something like that that they can use to, um, they can submit to the um, owners of the magazine. And they reached out to me and it was for 500 it was 500 words and i charged 15 dollars then 15 dollars for 500 words i don't charge 15 dollars for 500 words anymore like i have paid i have paid my dues okay <laughs> i have paid my dues my price has gone up like my price is very high now okay so i don't charge 15 dollars for 500 words anymore but i'm just saying that as a beginner this is how i started out i charged 15 dollars for 500 words okay yeah so that's about that you can you can make fifteen dollars for 500 words or i don't know it depends on like it depends there are a lot of ways to sell your prices which is why i said follow me on instagram i think i made a post like two weeks ago talking about how to charge as a freelancer and i've made a post about how to charge too so i'm going to still put it here and i'm also going to put my i'm going to put the link here or here the link about um how to set your prices as a freelancer and all that so that you guys can go and, can go and watch it and also follow me on instagram i'm going to put my instagram handle either here or here so you can go and follow me and check out that post that i made on how to set your prices as a freelancer it will guide you with this question that i, I just got this um this particular question of how how much can a beginner freelancer earn it's to guide you to set your prices the right way so that you avoid being cheated you avoid being um get a bit overpriced and being underpriced you understand the next question is what is the best freelancing website for a beginner i'm sorry i don't have the answer to that question okay <laughs> And every freelancing platform is great, okay? They all have their perks, so you know what works for you. Some people prefer Upwork, some people prefer Fiverr, some people prefer People Per Hour, Guru.com. Like, it depends on the freelancing website that works for you. I use Upwork and Fiverr, okay? And the question about what's the best freelancing platform or what's the best freelancing website, I honestly cannot answer that because like it depends on you and your experience on these freelancing platforms okay i have like a various a different experience on the freelancing platform and someone else might not have the same experience that i have so i'm not at liberty to disclose the best freelancing platform okay so i just feel that maybe you should go out there and have your own experience and make your own informed decision thank you thank you for coming to my TED talk the next question is, um, is freelancing legal? Of course. <laughs> of course, freelancing is legal, okay? It's something that you can actually do without going to jail. You're not stealing from anybody. You're putting into work legally and getting paid. You're doing the job that you're supposed to do and you're getting paid. So yes, freelancing is legal. Anybody that says it's not is illegal, I don't know. I don't know how to help you more. In my opinion, um, freelancing is legal it is so freaking legal okay it's something that you can actually do and get paid the next question is um the freelancers pay tax yeah freelancers do pay taxes okay it also depends on your region freelancers in the united states and canada pay tax taxes so it depends on your region and what is applicable okay but don't think that because you're a freelancer you're going to avoid tax tag your taxes freelancers pay taxes okay you're self-employed so you definitely have to pay taxes um you have to contribute to what you are enjoying and um, what the government is providing in your society that's what the government is working in your society you have to contribute to what the government is doing for you i think this video is just laid back and all over the place i hope you guys can pardon me and understand okay the next question is um can you pay your bills with freelancing what what have i been using to pay my bills since eh what <laughs> Yes, you can actually pay your bills with freelancing, okay? I just started working full-time again, like, early this year, like, in February. So, and I've been paying my bills, like, house rent, gas bills, these bills that will be freelancing money. So, you can actually pay your bills with freelancing, okay? 
um, you can actually pay your bills in freelance. Not immediately, oh, not immediately. Thank you guys should not watch my video on why you should not quit your 9 to 5 job for freelancing. First of all, you can pay your bills in freelancing but not immediately. So I'm going to put the video link somewhere here or here so that you can go and watch it. First of all, if you're thinking of quitting your job so that freelancing can pay your bills full time, it can but not immediately. So you would want to watch this video here or here. This video before you make that decision, okay? Next one is um which field is best for freelancing? Like I said, I don't know. People are doing um are, are, are earning so much from fields that you underrate, okay? So I would always insist, I would, I would always advise that you do something that you actually love and it's to pay you, okay? It's very important that you you focus on a skill or a service that you can actually do than to just focus on anything because you are looking for money, okay? Because the client satisfaction is very important and it's important that you do something that you can you 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 do something that you love. For instance, I said I do contemporary romance writing and paranormal romance has a lot of job opportunities. I'm not going to say because he has a lot of job opportunities, I'm just going to apply. I'm going to just apply and get the job and do rubbish for the client because I'm looking for money. No. So it's very important that you you choose something that you can do. That's why I don't have like an answer regarding the best skill that you can offer on the freelancing platform it always depends on what you can do it depends on your on the skills that you can offer or the services that you can offer do you understand the next one is um is freelancing a scam no freelancing is not a scam freelancing is not a scam please thank you it is very legal people are making money off it alexander Fasolo made four four hundred thousand dollars in, in, um, in 2020 in the middle of a pandemic okay so please it's not a scam it's very legal very very legal i think i'm going to do a reaction to a video very soon you guys should watch out for that reaction video the next one is does freelancing really pay yes freelancing really pays like he's, he's working for me that's not for a whole lot of other people but you need to know that it's not like fast cash you need to put in the work you need to put in the work with regards to um, being the best regarding the skill that you want to offer you need to put in the work in being the best delivering the best job to deliver the best to your client you need to put in the work to making your profile look good in your copy in your um your profile description putting the work in sending proposals or sending buyers requests on whichever freelancing platform that you're on putting the work in code emailing people in looking for recommendations and you will be recommended until you're really good at what you do so it's very important to tell people what you do okay so I think that's about that, guys. I don't think I can answer more questions because this is dragging on, okay? Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you are looking to become a freelancer and you need mentorship, not free mentorship, you need, if you're looking to become a freelancer and you need mentorship, please um, follow me on Instagram and send me a DM on Instagram or send me an email and we can get on with that, okay? Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram at I am to like come your way again next time with another video like this. I'll be good. Good night to your neighbors and bye.